is Charm Springs. I just moved here over the summer, so I guess I'm the new girl in town. There's a whole new world out there waiting to be discovered. New people to meet, new places to see, and new malls to shop in. It's a new beginning. New school, new town, new me. This is my chance to be whoever I want to be. A chance to do it all the way I want. A chance to live my high school dreams. And that's what we're going to do. Hey guys, we're for here and this we're going to uh, whatever I'm supposed to say that went wrong. Uh, anyways, you let's play this. I didn't even click anything. Game. Okay, whatever. Um, so this is high school dreams. Uh, best friends forever. This what are you doing, game? What? Stop. Game is crazy. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> uh. So someone recommended me this game, like, oh, it's kind of like Desperate Housewives and, and Sims. And I was like, oh, that sounds pretty promising. And then I I found somewhere to buy it. Would you stop doing that stupid game? Okay, I get it. Anyways. And uh, it was really cheap. And I, I loved it. I played for like, I was going to try it for like five minutes. And I played it for eh, two hours. Okay, we should really just quick start new game. Anyways, ta-da. Start new game. Yeah, this is my, um, we're just gonna delete that one. Uh, no, you know what, we'll just, uh, we'll just choose another safe spot like that one. And it's gonna load forever, so that's awesome. So I can talk here, actually. Here. So the game is basically, yeah, high school and, uh, yeah, a little desperate house wave-ish. You walk around, or walk around, but you know. There's quests, and, and there's six boys you can date, no girl. Um, and uh, they have all different styles, so you can... Uh, uh, I don't know if your music is so loud, but anyways, it's cool. And uh, fit out your room, you go shopping at the mall, you know, make money, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I've kind of been looking for something like this. Uh, it's really addictive to me, at least, so I thought, why not play it? Kind of. Housewife ish. Though maybe not as dramatic as that. And yes, this load screen takes forever. It's an old game, okay? So yeah. Here we are. Okay, so we're gonna choose face. Choose a look for your character by clicking one of the faces. And of course, name is uh Lord Fire. There we go. Uh I don't know which one I went with first time around. I think I went with like this or something. Um, this is kind of cool though. Actually. This one is kind of cool, but... I'll go with this one because I'm boring. Uh, and hey, makeup options and I don't, I, I don't <laughs> wear makeup in real life, but uh, here we are gonna totally wear makeup. Yeah, we're gonna go with. There are only three hairstyles here, but you can go to to the hairstylist in the game and uh, get other hairstyles. So it's cool. I like this one. And we're totally gonna change it to red because you know. Red heads are cool. Nope, that's not good. 
we are going to buy a bow to put in our hair later on so it's going to be totally cool and I'm just going to make her redhead green eyes because that's what I always make my characters and that's uh, loosely based on myself uh, would you stand still? I can't like see. Okay, let's go with the stupid eyeliner. <laughs> what was this even? I okay, it was eyeliner. Should we go with the stupid eyeliner or the funny eyeliner rather maybe? Yeah, let's go with like the funny eyeliner. Does it have to be perfect, right? It looks so not great. Let's go with that because it looks funny. We can change, you know, we can go to the makeup salon and at the mall, so we're gonna totally change our looks. Lots. We're gonna go with that. Blusher. Okay, no, no blusher because she's gonna look like a clown if we have that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lip color. Would you stop doing that? Like, do you really do that when you put lipstick on? Like, I've never worn it, so I have no idea, but... STOP! Totally clownish. On the verge of it, but not quite. Okay, let's go with that, because it looks hilarious. Ooh, are we almost married? No, I don't think so. Alright. So, yeah, you can buy, like, accessories, clothes, uh, you know, everything. Only thing you can't do is change, um, change, uh, body type. Everyone has the same body type. This is the wardrobe. And as you can see up here, these are boxes for when you, you buy clothes. Because you can buy clothes different stores, which have different styles. And different styles appeal to different guys, because there's six guys you can date. And, uh, you click on, on them and it shows clothes you have bought from those places. But right now we have this we only have this standard box. And we have bangles here and we have belts here. And this is bonus items. Anyways, we only have this box here. So we click and drag. For example that. Or like that one. Or like this one. Can make it look like we have a uh, dress, but I don't really like that look. We could go with that. something uh, oh that is for nothing okay yeah well I uh, <laughs> I like belts so uh, let's go with that I don't know what shoes we should wear people wear these kind of shoes to school in high school weird um well personally I like these shoes the best so uh Oh no, let's go with this. I mean, uh, in, in the beginning, obviously, there's a very limited option of clothing, but uh, we're gonna buy more, so that's totally okay. Oh my gosh, look at this room! It's huge, and it's like 10 times bigger than my old one. But hey, it could do with like an extreme makeover, home edition style. Alright, so now we're moving around. Uh Oh, and Who's we texting me. Let me just open up my phone to check it out. I swear, I'd be lost without unlimited texting. I didn't even have time to move around, and yes, I would also be lost without unlimited texting. Hi, honey. Sorry I wasn't there when you got up, but I didn't want to be late. I hope you like your new room, and you'll see you'll love Charm Springs. Have a good day at your new school. Love you, mom. XOXO. So our phone is basically our menu. Uh or all our stuff. So we have stats, uh, which we don't have right now, but we're gonna get them. Uh, reception is uh, pretty good. Contacts, uh, when we get those. Handbag, which is our inventory, when we get stuff in it. We don't have that right now. Diary, I have actually not checked, uh, ever clicked on, but that's cool. A map, obviously, is blinking here. Camera, we can take photos, uh, our photos and our objectives. So I'm just gonna move around a bit in here. And we have um, our, our money here. We get allowance from our mom, I think, once a day or something like that. And and time. And, uh, yeah, you can move around with WASD or uh, 
the arrow keys or the mouse, but the mouse is uh it's a little wonky because sometimes she starts running the other way around when you do it with the mouse and it's just hilarious you don't she doesn't do that now but sometimes uh, and oh this is how you get into okay fine cool I didn't know you could get into your wardrobe like that anyways we are totally going to school this is the map so we have promenade mall park home and town and actually you buy everything in a mall there's a dry cleaner too, but if you want accessories, you buy them at the promenade, which is uh, which is uh, funny. But anyways, it's real in school, and lots of loading screens again. Yeah, here we are. New objective: meet some new friends, find and talk to Emily. This page has details of all your current objectives. To complete this one, you need to make a friend. Click back or close to continue so we'll walk around here I'm kind of talking to my actual friend here me so anyways here's one of the boys I'm thinking about thinking about asking Chuck to the prom I'm pretty nervous though well apparently we can't really talk to him uh, here we have a mini-map, which we can't open right now, but anyways, here's, uh, I think his name is Seth. You can see here the guys that you can uh, date or whatever, they have a heart meter. So, uh, and if I want to talk to him, he goes, no. <laughs> so he's really nice in the beginning. Um, and we also have uh, these orange story things, which are funky fridge magnets, which are uh, collectibles in a way, I guess. Um, apparently everyone collects them in Charm Springs, so... Whenever you see one of those, you want to pick it up. Here's Petey, I think his name is. Petey's pretty hot. But he's even hotter with those headphones on. He's one of the guys, and that dude over there is also one of the guys. And here we are, and people are just lagging around here. If you see an exclamation mark over a person's head, it means you have something important to tell you. Find and talk to Emily. This is Emily. Hey, you're new here, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, first day. I love your first day outfit. It's really cute. Thanks. I kind of like it too. Well, you should. My name's Emily, and these are my friends Olivia and Abigail. Hi. Hey. Emily's right. Your outfit is really cute. Did you just move to Charm Springs? Yeah, we moved from out of state. My parents heard lots of good things about Charm Springs High. All lies. All of them. What? I'm kidding. It's not that bad here. I was the new kid last year, and it didn't scare me off. You'll be just fine. Good. I think I will too. You couldn't have found a better welcoming committee. We'll show you who's in, who's out, and who to just plain avoid. Will any cute boys be on that tour? <laughs> of course. The school is crawling with them. Let's start over there. That's Chuck Majors. Basketball star and possibly one of the hottest guys in the school. Mm. And then there's Petey Jacobs. You know how they say all girls love the DJ in the club? It's no different here. Mm. And then there's Seth Stoddard. If you like your guy to wear tight shirts and get all dramatic, Seth's your guy. Although there is something cute about him, in a depressing sort of way. <laughs> There's a pretty good selection of guys to choose from, but you gotta watch out for Abigail, because she's after them too. You got competition, girl. Oh, and if for some reason you're walking along the hallways and something explodes or crashes through a wall, that's Benny B. What? Crashes through a wall? Long story. You shouldn't have anything to worry about as long as you stay a safe distance away from him. Like about a mile. Dang, that's the bell to go to class. Come on, I'll show you where it is. Thanks. It's cool, like I said. I was the new girl once too. I think you're really going to like Charm Springs High. Me too. We'll hope that for that. Okay, so we have a new contact. So that was four of the six guys uh, that you can, uh, you know, go out with a date or whatever. So here we have one contact. Emily's giving you her number. Click select to view details. 
kind but sarcastic. She has a sor sharp mind but a sharper tongue. Still, she knows everything that's going on and she is usually friendly to me. We can send messages and it's kind of basic messages like, where are you? How are you? I'm bored. Tell me something. But we're not going to do that right now. Seems a little weird. And we still don't have our hand access to our handbag, which is interesting because we have a fridge magnet. But uh, yeah, so we're going to class. Here's class. There's a couple of cute guys in here, so hopefully you can find a seat next to them. Thanks. I think I see one right now. Good luck. See you after class. All right, so we get to choose a um, seat here. We can basically choose to sit beside Petey or beside Seth, and uh, I guess we can choose forever. And <laughs> Or actually, we can sit beside Chuck, too. I just realized, okay. We can basically choose like a guy to start talking with, or two to start talking to rather, because three of them are in our class. But like, hey, do that? You stole my hair! Like, come on. Uh, no, but I gotta say that popular sports and guys and stuff are not really my type. So I'm gonna just go sit beside here with Seth. Good thing I wasn't looking for inspiration in your outfit. No one ever sits in that seat. Okay, class. Today, well, for this lesson, I'm going to go off on a bit of a tangent. Um, I think you hit a teacher in the background. Okay. Uh, ask permission, ask directions, ask why. Is it okay for me to sit here? It's okay, just no one ever does. Why? Is the seat haunted? No. Though most students here find me haunting. Okay, actually, you can actually hear like the teacher going on in class, and Petey's just sitting there with his headphones. <laughs> Minor flirt, make him work, major flirt. Ah. I know, minor flirt. Probably because you've got such an unusual style. Or that they think I'm scary. Scary is a style. And who are they to say whether it's good or not? You seem different than most of the girls here. You see there, hearts, hearts, his heart meter is going up. And when you make friends, they have like flowers over their heads instead. That indicates them. Outsider, insider, I've got a bad side. That's because I'm one of a kind. That makes two of us. Why be normal, right? The poets themselves could not have said it better. I agree. Why be normal, right? Pretty boring. Move it along, keep it breezy, drill down. Uh, I don't know, keep it breezy. You're funny. Funny looking? Funny, period. Excuse me, is my teaching interrupting your conversation? Well... Now that we have the entire class's attention, would you all please turn to chapter one in your textbooks? School always stops at three. And you, little Miss Distraction, I want to see you after class. Alrighty. I'm also curious if this is like real high school in the US or if this is like exaggerated, like high school in the US, because. Like, this is nothing, like, this setup here is, like, nothing that you'd find here. Most of my school has been that everyone has, like, assigned places in the classrooms, like, you don't sit wherever you want just like that. What? The weird. Uh, apologize for talking, butter her up, throw attitude. Yeah, I don't think that throwing attitude is that great first day of school. I'm so sorry, Miss Trimble. I... I really don't want to hear it. Is that how you acted in your old school? Yeah. No, but I... Then why would you think that it was acceptable here? I've been trying to tell you, but you keep interrupting me. Oh, you don't like being interrupted when you're trying to get a point across? No, it's annoying. Exactly. So... I expect to see a different behavior out of you from now on. Uh, be cautious or more attitude. Um, 
I think that being cautious is probably the safest bet. She's I really said angry. I was sorry, Miss Trimble. You must come from a place where saying you're sorry makes angels appear and play beautiful songs on their harp and make flowers go into full bloom. No, but it's usually accepted. You only think that because of what kind of girl you are. What kind of girl am I? Oh, you know. You're pretty. You dress like you're older than you are, and whatever you say is immediately dismissed. Well, not here, young lady. I can assure you that. Take the compliment, apologize, and mean it. Um... I don't know... I know how much attitude we should actually be showing. It feels like first day of school, a new school, and the teacher is like really angry. Like, should we really be throwing attitude? Uh, uh, well, I did apologize last time I played myself. I don't know. We're gonna go with like cautious. Miss Trimble, I really am sorry. It's just. I'm not used to being new to a school, and I don't want to turn away any potential friends. I don't know if you're being sincere or mocking me, but let me just say this. I'm watching you. There's never a time that I'm not. Remember that, and fear it. <laughs> I will, Miss Tremble. <gasps> oh you can God. go. And since you like talking so much, Stop by in room 104 and tell Eugene I'm still waiting for those pictures for the paper. Alrighty, so we have a new objective, which is... Miss Trimble wants some photos from Eugene Moss. Find Eugene in room 104 and get the photos. Alright, so let's see if we have our minimap. We do not. Okay, bye-bye, Miss Trimble. Here's Emily. What did Trimble say to you? Lots of stuff? That was weird. She's evil. Miss Trimble just pulled me aside and started threatening me. What? Yeah. She said she was going to be watching me. Can she do that? She's just a teacher, right? Yeah. But you were talking in her class. I mean, you were talking to a cute guy, which is way more important, but... I think I know what her deal is. What? She's jealous that boys don't like her anymore. Think about it. How long do you think it's been since she was on a date? <laughs> Probably forever. So don't worry about it. She's just jealous of you because you're hot. Let's go shopping and forget all about it. Whoa, who is that? Girl, that is Landon. Why are those kids following him like that? That's his entourage. Entourage? Yeah, they just follow him and do what he says. But why? Have you ever seen a group of stray dogs when you hold out a piece of meat? Yeah, they go crazy. Well, those are the stray dogs, and the meat that Landon is holding out is a combination of his unlimited wealth and popularity. They all want a bite of it. That's really too bad. It is, but don't think about it too much. Let's just go shopping. Uh... I can't. I have to go talk to this Eugene guy. Right? Should we go shopping? I don't know. I kind of want to check out school. I'd really like to, but I've got too much going on. Maybe some other time? Okay. I'll just be kicking it in the courtyard if you change your mind. Alright, cool. A new event. Alright, so our new event is... I don't know. Oh! Go shopping at the mall with Emily. Okay, fine. You can have events, you can have dates. Alright, so that is our calendar. Oh, this is the diary! Oh, okay, calendar horoscope. Today is a lucky day for money. A stranger will become your friend. Be sure to stare fear in the eye, okay? Hi, ah, I didn't even know there were horoscopes and stuff here. That's cool. Notes. Uh, how to use the message? Okay, cool. Gossip. Okay, about people. Gossip page allows you to view all learned gossip as well as selecting it to tell someone else. Okay, achievements. Ooh, there's achievements? Oh my god, I haven't... Oh, wow. What are all these... Oh my god. There's also some mini games here? I haven't, like, experienced any of that. Oh wow, so much more... So much of this game that I haven't seen yet. 
Okay, here's our inventory. We have the Landon's Magnet because he sits out there where we found it. So that's what we have. And stats. I haven't seen stats. Okay, cash, gossip. Uh, number of fridge magnets. Your popularity with the boys. Ah, okay. All right. Let's go. Find, uh, yeah, here's the mini map. So here's, I think Landon is out here. We can talk to him. Wanna hang out? Uh, wanna get some gelato later? Um, can I answer that? Oh, oh, here she is. Uh, but I don't wanna do it right now. I'm sorry, Olivia. I'll do it another day. Um, I wanna go check out what all these places are. Okay, so here's like... Oh, there's a funky oh. fridge magnet here that I didn't even see. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, so here's... Uh, like stock room. Whoa, what happened? I have no idea. Here's like a music room. Oh yeah, here's Petey. If you're looking for the crafts classroom, it's down the hall. Uh... Flatter him, I'm not lost. Act shy, ask his name. I heard one of the kids here was a DJ. Do you know him? Huh? You do? Of course. He's in our class. Where is he? Is he cute? Some would say he's the cutest in the school. Okay, I get it. Very funny. You're the DJ. So you think I'm the cutest in the school? You said that, not me. So, should I call you DJ or what? Nah, call me Petey. That's what all my friends call me. Cool. Oh, I have him as a contact. Okay, so... I mean, I know which guys I like the best, but we'll, we'll try to, like, you know, talk to everyone so you can see all of them. How'd you know I'm new? I don't know. You just look... different. Well, how do I change that? I just moved here, so I don't know all the good spots. Jeans is pretty good. That's where most of the guys go. That's where I go, too. Yeah, but will it match my style? I didn't think of that. You kind of go for that 70s dirty hippie look, right? No. What? Chill, girl. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> they have all styles. Low-rise, baggy, tight-fitting, whatever you need. Okay. You doing this for fun or just practicing? Nah. I'm putting this mix in the DJ battle. I'm pretty new to this. Like, what goes on at a DJ battle? You throw your records at each other? <laughs> like what? DJ gladiators? Yep. All the DJs take a crate of records and throw them at each other? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> I know. My bad. I just think it's crazy that you never heard of one. So what happens? You know, it's a battle. A bunch of DJs put a mix up against each other. Whoever the crowd likes best wins. It's a pretty big deal. Mess with him? <laughs> Are you just getting started on it? I'm almost finished. Are you for real? It sounded like I just got started? No, it sounded good. I was just teasing you. I gotta watch out for you. That's tight. Can I hear it? I mean, I've already heard some. Nah. You have to check it out in the battle. Kind of superstitious about things. Uh, use the pretty girl angle, use the friend angle. <laughs> uh, I don't oh, know. Oh, come on. Isn't that one of the benefits of being a DJ? You get to play music for all the girls. Good point. Now I'm really gonna wait until the battle. Way more <laughs> girls will be there. Fine. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to wait to see you at the battle. Cool. See you then. Cool. Oh my god, what's this? Olivia and... Oh, lots of people out there. Okay, so last time I was here, he totally said something else to me, but, but apparently I talked to him differently this time, so... No, not this time. Okay. Buy soda, buy mineral water. No, we don't really need that. But okay, we know where to get it. Here we can go get crisps and a candy bar. Yeah, because when I played last time by myself, he wanted a candy bar. He was like, I'll do anything for a candy bar. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go fix you a candy bar, dude. 
Okay, so here's like the library. And here's a magnet and stuff. And yeah. Why did you shush me instead of yelling, watch out? The library is a place for silence, not yelling. Be apologetic. I'm sorry. I should have watched where I was going. But then we wouldn't be having this amazing conversation. It's almost as exciting as these books. Amazing? Yeah. It's amazing I haven't fallen asleep yet. That's about the books. Then why are you reading them? Inspiration. No luck? Luck is for children, as is this so-called literature. What do you need inspiration for anyway? For an escape. Something to set my poetry free. I suggest a change of scenery. Such as? Well, you're kind of pale. How about any place outside? Interesting. Pain is outside too. Plus, there's a picture in this book of a vista that's supposed to be around here. Yep, we saw it in the intro. Oh, come on, don't lag on me, game. Heh <laughs> heh, come on. Come on. Really? Oh my gosh. Okay, did you just stop? Really? For real? This game does not like recording, I can tell you that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Try to fix this somehow. Or not. Ooh, my old computer is frozen! Good news. Good news. We will have to do this. Hello? Yeah. It's not responding at all. Okay. Can I, uh... Can I, uh... No? Nope, I cannot. Would you please... Please... Oh my gosh. No? <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, it's all broken. It's all broken. Alrighty.